You're listening to Artie Tune, a podcast with artists created and produced by Detlef Schlick, a visual artist and ritual designer, living and loving in West Cork, and best known for his essay about the cause and effect of shamanism, art and digital culture. Working in the field of performance, photography, painting, sound, installations, and film he will dive and discover with us and a weekly creative guest into the unknown and exciting deep ocean of the creative mind. This is Detlef Schlich and today we dive into the unexpected and exciting ocean of creative minds together with Paul Kopp. This is already the third part and Paul is a uh, um, adventurer, poet, uh, uh, seaweed farmer, um, not not cowboy but sailor and and uh, boat builder and 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 so a very creative person with a very creative vision and I'm happy uh, to have you here, Paul. Hi, Paul. Hi, hi, again. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And uh, we discovered in the first two parts uh, the life of Paul and actually the inspiration how and what brought him over here to Ireland and to especially to West Cork where he is over since 2000 2000 uh, 2000 actually uh, 2000 um due 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 to forced a little bit by by all 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 the Iron Lady Margaret Thatcher area or Robert Robert Reagan area <laughs> Robert Reagan area. well it's here now actually <laughs> those you know, um, I mean, what was started then is now is now really becoming real. I think you know, in terms of uh, artificial intelligence, and you know, we would. So this is a funny thing because I was brought up, if you like, on conspiracy theories before anybody. You know, everybody accepted the norm back in when I was young. You know, like that. Sure. Uh, that uh, you know, the um, we we'd all emancipated ourselves from um, from uh, all the hardships of history, and we we're living in this brave new world. But um, um, people accepted it, and they believed in science that science was going to fix it. I mean, they still believe in science, you know. So, so this, this, this is, uh, and it's, it is tricky. It is difficult, you know. I mean, I mean, we questioning already since since the beginning of of consciousness. What 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 is it? What what is what, what is the world where we're in? You know, and and I mean, uh, um, we we live in in a, in a, in a post postmodern world. Which is which is apart from the gods now. So 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 the gods used to be, you know, and they used to be as well in in, in Christianity, and and they used to be up to the to the to the to the to the enlightenment, you know. So I'm actually happy that 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 we're able to questioning things somehow. Sure, you know, sure. So. Um, for me, I I just know that it was the culture of I was living on the streets in Bristol as a teenager. Yeah. And there were so many street gurus. We used to go to the Barclay Cafe yeah. and everybody was stoned, you know? <laughs> and there'd be these street gurus from South America and things. And everybody was kind of um, trying to outdo each other with a more far fetched version of reality, you know? I mean, yeah. blowing your illusions, you know? <laughs> So this is what's this is what's happening to this is what's happening today, and now in my you know in my maturity, yeah. I don't want to be like a voice in the wilderness. I don't want to be such a rebel. I kind of would want to be part of society. I want to be part of a community. Yeah, and appreciate appreciate that you know. Yeah, but um, that's where I came from, yeah. and um. I see the polarization that's happening today. Yeah. Um, uh, and 
the the real the real threat of artificial intelligence yeah. in our lives yeah. you know then we were just the, they were just concepts you know that we were dealing with maybe yes i mean i mean but what 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 is eventually artificial intelligence you know i mean artificial is art so so and if it's artificial it's still art and if it's not if it's not uh art it's not nature and if it's not nature it's not art so so i think uh, it's now on us how we're gonna deal with this situation where where we are in you know i mean sure we can we can start now and 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 set up 20 30 different concepts you know so are, what are we are, are we just a digital concept are we are we a concept of the gods you know i mean i mean the believers still say okay, yeah it's all it's you know. all happening you know the information that is available now yeah but um, it's still early you we, we just look we just have our consciousness and we don't have it very long you know no so so we just recently after 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 the enlightenment we we, we started we were allowed to think out of the box paul i mean i mean if if we would have think that this talk in 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 1500 we would be now we would burn you know maybe in the dark ages yeah sure. um and you know um we would burn and for and for that i really appreciate that 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 we have the 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 capability and 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 the allowing us to questioning things you know i mean imagine if if, if we uh, i mean we have already sort of censorship now what 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 happens through the internet as well again you know where i what i don't know is it good or is it bad you know so is it for the good is it for the bad i don't know i mean i'm 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 actually i'm against propaganda of 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 talibans and 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 sh showing uh how they chop off hats uh, online you know i don't like that so so i'm quite actually on one side happy that that there is a censorship you know because of that course i think that i think um i think there has to be i mean because the dark web is a nightmare <laughs> you know um and yeah today you know this is the age of fake news and double speak yeah. um yeah. but some things don't change you know no and i think it's i think that um enjoy you know I, in, I mean enjoy the the digital revolution that's the only but, thing um, what we can do we I need mean, to we need to remember our roots as well i think it's it is very necessary to to um to understand the concept where where we're in now you know that we live in the 21st century and that things changed i mean i mean Look, all the digital natives, they're born after 2000. They don't even question things like this anymore because for them it's complete. They grow up with a, a smartphone at the ear, you know. And, and I mean, in 10 years, the next generation will grow up with, with a chip next to the head, you know. Like what you hear so far? Make sure you never miss a show by clicking the subscribe button now. This podcast is made possible by listeners like you. Thank you for your support. Now back to the show. I mean, I mean, like, like, like people used to 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 be to wear a, a pacemaker already as well, you know. So, so that 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 is, I see it. I try to see that as as a part of evolution without without getting bitter or or, or depressed. I see that nowadays just just as part of of, I mean. Like Marshall McLuhan said, uh, uh, the the medium is the message, you know, and we are, I see, as as humans as well, just as a medium, you know, as as a, a, a even nature as a medium, you know, of the universe and and and, and whatever, you know, and and we we see if we see the bigger picture, we we learn maybe, I mean, you probably know that as well from your meditation, we learn maybe to 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 forgive to forgive us and maybe to forgive the universe as well somehow you know that we see breathing in breathing out you know yeah that we can all do with a bit of compassion yeah compassion as well you know and i empathy. mean we, we live in mad times and and then older our generations guys i mean if i see it on facebook then some people they are shocked if they see if they see uh what is her name the the, the robots it's alice is it alice I'm not sure or, or the artif in artificial intelligence mm. robots mm. now. You know, they're they're shot and and they they wonder how can this happen? You know, so and they really they can't cope with that. You know, I mean, I can understand that somehow if you're not. It's very hard to distinguish. You know, 
reality, like when people are playing war games on videos, you know, and um, and that's how wars are conducted. Yeah, but I mean, I mean, the people played uh, uh, two thousand years ago uh, 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 war games in arenas, you know. So, so, so Brad, well, it was flesh and blood, Brad and, and circuses, but yeah. uh, it wasn't. Re we weren't so removed from it, you know. No. Um, Uh, so, so, so it, it, it is all. It is always. I mean, uh, the children played cowboys and Indians with, with 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 guns in 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 real life as well. I mean, guns of out of wood, but yeah, boys you, love that. You, but you still re <laughs> recreate the situation of war. You know? I know, so, I know, so. and um, yeah, I have issues about the gun lobby and all that. Uh, me too. I mean, I'm I'm a pacifist. Um, so. so um, you know, I'm glad when I came to Ireland, I was still a townie because I'd yeah. never had land. Yeah. I'd never had land, yeah. you know, land. So in the in the modern world, land is something that people don't have. Yeah. But they still have land in West Cork. And well, we didn't own any land. But, um, you know, I uh, I was um, able to pay uh, um, a very small token rent and um, and have free rain over a couple of acres yeah. in Roaring Water Bay. Yeah. And this this was um, this was a real um, healing experience actually for I me. know. It's great. I fell in love, you know, people fall in love um, with each other, but um, I, 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 also you can fall in love with with some land, you know. Yeah. And yeah. Um, can and if so it was a reconnection with the earth for me. It um, is. It and is. we kept, we kept uh, goats and um, on chickens cape, on Cape on Cape. No, this was um, in Roaring Water Bay. Ah, uh, all right. Yeah, all right. So you had goats in your well. in your. Hometown land of Lishin, I may say. All ah, right, yes, yes. I don't want to be too I, specific. I live very close to that now, and, and it, it, it used to be a lovely place where, I mean, it is. Paul had a yurt there. I know the times when we, we had on, on, on full moon always uh, gatherings with, with drummings and singing and uh, and uh, uh, baking baking fish and, 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 and mussels underneath a. a um, a huge what was it a blanket or, or, or what did, how, how did we how did we do that yeah yeah that's a very nice kind of way to um, barbecue fish and um, shellfish and things is uh, with um, making making hot rocks having a really hot fire you get the rocks yeah uh, red hot yeah and then you put on top uh a lot of a lot of seaweed yeah yeah washed yeah. up yeah and then you put your fish on top of the seaweed yeah and cover it all with a tarp yeah and it steams yeah yeah and all the goodness of the seaweed gets and flavor gets into the into the fish um and or mussels or oh, that was so lovely it yeah, tasted yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. amazing and hot tubs and things these yeah, are yeah. good these are good memories yeah yeah, yeah. Paul, <laughs> Paul had a hot tub there i mean the place is not there now anymore but it was it was great and i mean <clears throat> um i mean i know paul now as well quite long and i actually i'm still working on a, on another project with him the ghost of the estocoline the spirit of the estocoline which is actually uh, the funeral of a boat uh, I made with Paul as well we, we had already one performance the Asylum Seekers where I will put that link as well in, in, in my description that is already as well a couple of years ago isn't it? Yeah, yeah. That's so scary. It's a poem by Paul and um, uh, uh, we performed it together and um, like I say I put the link into the description as well. Um, the boat the, the Esther Colleen was then actually the boat where you came over with wasn't it it was yeah yeah so and, and it's no more no more it's um it's been broken up 
we burned it and um well we there's, we there's a there's maybe maybe a few planks left but i mean we still have to do the performance <coughs> we still have to stay do stay tuned people <laughs> <laughs> We still we still have to do the the the, the official funeral of the Estocolini. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, Paul's Paul's plan was actually to to um, to restore it. It was a great trawler, wasn't it? I mean, yeah. Um, unfortunately, um, my life got hijacked um, in a way, um, in a good way, um, but. Uh, I I ended up doing some more traveling. Um, we went to South America and back around Europe, and and I neglected the boat. I left it um, in under a canopy of oak trees, you know, in a very dark, damp place in Baltimore, and um, and she was a fine boat, and I'm guilty of letting a fine boat go to ruin because some very aggressive kind of rot got into the boat and by the time I was back and I was ready I had the resources to take it to the shipyard yeah um it was too late we in fact it was too expensive one then when it was 20,000 euro to repair it wasn't it well it, you know it was it was a, it would have been a bottomless pit um and the last On the very last trip, we got the boat out of there. I got the engine going. Everything had got rusty, and uh, we were. It was the crack of dawn because it was very high and dry up the top of the beach, yeah. and we needed a huge spring tide to get it off. Yeah. So it was the crack of dawn, and we were motoring across uh, um, Baltimore Bay. Yeah, and uh, the gearbox cut out. I lost power the hydraulic gearbox God, yeah. um i couldn't go back into gear yeah and it was fairly fresh wind and we were blowing back through the moorings towards baltimore yeah with a 65 ton boat uh, um and nobody around yeah and the spirit then the spirit of the boat spoke to me yeah because the combination of wind and tide there was a line of trawlers on the quay yeah and the boat missed all the missed all the moorings yeah and came in to rest at the end of the queue of yeah. trawlers yeah it just nudged itself into the quay yeah i stepped off the bow and dropped the rope round the bollard all right so God. that was eerie The last, the last trip, um, and then, and then, yeah, and we then we it was a small problem, but um, you know, so, so it, we it, made it, it. We made the trip up the river to the boatyard to the Haggerty's boatyard, and she was condemned. It was too late. I had the choice of maybe spending the rest of my life working on the boat, or um, <laughs> or doing another project, the new project, which is where I am now. Um, I moved into town in Bally de Hob and um and that this will this is taken over my life and um and it seems like a better a better uh, a better thing to do now. Um on dry land um and uh carry on seaweed farming and um we have Uh, I have lots of space, so it's quite a, um, you know, a lot of people pass through the premises. We have the cafe. So, yeah. Um, so you have now the permission for, before for, for, COVID. For, for farming seaweed. No? Yeah. The, and as of 2021, breaking news, after 10 years seaweed farming, I finally have a license to grow seaweed in Dumadas Bay. And this is an attitude. That's great. That's so cool. Congratulations, Paul. Congratulations. I mean, this is great. And uh, we probably, we're going to continue with this. I mean, we're not finished now in our podcast, but but uh, I have already another another um, production on the go with Paul, but that on a later stage, I don't want to, to, to tell too much about that. Um, but you will hear more from Paul for sure about this project and um, 
And this is just the introduction of that as well, a little bit. I mean, like I say, Paul, Paul is a seaweed farmer, and that's, that's a great project. Exciting, exciting new um, uh, way of um, producing food um, that's, in, that's environmentally friendly, sustainable, yeah. Yeah. and nutritious, you know, because um, we can't carry on everybody eating meat forever. And a lot of the nutrition yeah, we need, can we need be options. grown we in the need, sea. We, we need options. And that is one part of an option as well. And uh, a good, a very healthy part of options. And, I mean, Paul Paul is, is, is comes from, 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 from a sustainable background. But you can listen to that in the first part, actually, more than that's already his experience in, uh, in, in, uh, in Egypt and, and, and uh, in, in, in Africa, how people deal there with with um, living on the land yeah yeah living on the land as well and all that you know so uh, that's that's very interesting so paul is here and now um 20 years and um just shot back to the estocoline because this is a part what um what we both did together uh i mean the the, the um the performance and the estocoline was still alive a couple of years ago and we we performed on the estocoline actually we we still have this performance i'm quite happy about that it was a it was a um, great uh, way to celebrate the life of a historic boat with that left it was filming um a live performance of um, uh, stuff that came out of my um, my unconscious mind. Yeah, I mean, Paul, <laughs> Paul, Paul actually. So he he had. I mean, I mean, I like the way he's living, and and he he came up with a poem uh, that was uh, called it was called Asylum Seeker, Viking Asylum, Viking Seeker. Asylum Seeker. And um, I thought, wow! I mean, I like it. So let's, let's let's do. Let's really gonna do a performance with that because it was really just about the time where 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 Angela Merkel had huge problems with 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 with, with her decision that that she takes a lot of immigrants on board. And not everyone was happy with that, and um, for us here, it was as well as somehow a, 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 a matter of of. Uh, um, one love thing as well that that uh, um, we we have to help people, people boat like boat, people, boat people boat people dying at sea on their way to the land of the infidel, refugee camps as big as cities across the wall from the land of the free, where the fat cat sits so pretty. Yeah, so that's that's part, and I would say, Paul. Um, so we are now already at the part where, where we where we could, would love to 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 introduce Paul to your dear dear listeners with with a, with with one of his his poems. I don't know what you, what you're gonna do. Do you, are, are you gonna do a Sam Seeker or what? I don't know. Yeah, well, it's um, if you've got time, I've got time. Um, y yeah, but it's maybe a few. Maybe we won't. Uh, I've actually um, written this in three sagas. All right. So and maybe we listen to the first saga. Very good. Okay, make of this what you will. Um, I take, don't even... I let you decide what it's about because I don't really know myself yet. Yeah, so if you're gonna do the first saga, it would be great. So, so just make sure that you get close enough to the to the mic in order to have your to get your full voice over there. Yeah. So, poet and boat builder and cowboy Paul Cup. In our time, there were no rules. We danced where angels fear to tread. In the company of fools, we were dogs underneath. The table of the gods, fresh blood in a primeval mud, players on the board after the flood. We had words unspoken, like quicksilver in slow motion, our minds blown wide open. 
And then the fallout began and some of us sank and some of us swam. Love's flame flickered in the sexual rip-off, mind games played in the masquerade. And the tangled forest of dreams on a catalyst, but on this 21st century beach life so materialist, my heart's desires out of reach, across the rainbow bridge, in Valhalla where my slain comrades feast, across the rainbow bridge. Hey, Mr. Lighthouse Keeper, I'm a Viking asylum seeker. Take me to your dream weaver. Let me get a toehold in this world around which, around which the Mythgarth worm is coiled. Help me stay complimentous in a generation of misfits hanging on by our fingertips, puppets in the hands of the spirits. This slave don't suffer, fool's got one foot in the grave, it's a new set of rules, don't know how to behave. Power is the motivation and money is the blood of the nation. Adam and Eve were together before the fall, but if you lived forever you'd be sick of it all. That's cool like a deep breeze, compulsion is a social disease, fresh schemes, false starts, stale dreams. It all happened so fast. Anyway, the bird has flown. Tomorrow comes, forgets the past. No need to be on your own, sitting on the edge of a knife like a frightened rabbit in the kindergarten of life. We are riders of the wave. You can fly like an eagle, sit at the table of the brave and grow old and wise if you're lucky. But time turns the page and you exit the stage like a chicken in Kentucky. If I had a conscience, I'd shatter the silence, stop sitting on the fence. If you got a body, that's your fate. If you're in a skin, jump right in, don't be late. Take a breather and celebrate. Switch on your love receiver. Goddesses play on the highway, love hurts, but like a double-edged sword, truth comes first. And if the stars fall out of the sky, oh Lord, it's only shooting stars. Venus wrapped in the arms of Mars. Thank you very much, Paul. It, is, it was great to hear that again. I actually, I could, I was joining in in two or three words. Yeah, I, good man, good man. <laughs> I remember that. That's so yeah. cool. That was great. I mean, this is actually almost on the same way like 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 you performed it in in uh, uh, 2016 or 17 was it? I don't but know. there's um yeah there's so there's two more parts to that piece. Um, so we we're gonna listen. We're gonna listen to that maybe maybe if if we if we if we're gonna start with with this other other production with Paul next time, and uh, I would say on that note it's 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 a good. It's a very good end, and I thank you very much for for performing this. It thank was really you. So my first podcast, and uh, yeah, great. yeah, and I got goosebumps as I was listening to it. Great, Paul. Thank you very much. Very good. Thank you. Thank, thank you very much for 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 in introducing your life a little bit to the listeners. You know, and dear listeners, um, you will get everything, all the links. You know, in my description, you will get. Paul's contact website as well. The Roaring Water Bay, Bay uh, what, Sea Vegetable Company. What, what's what's the name of the web? Roaring Water Sea Vegetable Company. Yeah, but but you will find that as well. And Paul has a Facebook page as well, Paul Cup. So don't worry, we'll get that. Paul, oh, great to have you here. Thank, Thank you me. very much. Bye bye. This is a listener-supported show. I feel honored if you subscribe to the show. You can follow me non-financial with the following click on one of my Instagram accounts or subscribe the visual version of this podcast on YouTube via the link below. If you like what you hear, be sure to tune in this Sunday for the third part of this Attitude Audio Triptych. If you want to leave a donation for a coffee or a bus ticket, just follow the donation link via the Attitude Podcast account. Eventually, I would like to thank, through this medium, all my members and listeners of the I Love West Cork Artists Network from all over the world. 
just to remember myself that without you, this year couldn't and wouldn't happen. You have listened to Artitude, West Court's first art, fashion and design podcast. Artitude, never so close again. Ah! That was too close.